Hello everybody, welcome along to the channel, welcome along to a new quick video. Now, this video today, chat, is going to give you a bit of an eye-opener between the quality of lobbies between GT Sport back from 2017 and onwards to GT7 today. Now, I'm going to show you the same cars in the same track online chat and you're going to get to have a look at the difference in quality between GT7 and GT Sport from then and now and you're going to be able to see kind of like the frustration of the, the players, you know, the people that bought this game and what we're talking about when we talk about lag in the lobbies and how bad it really, really is. So without further ado chat, let's have a quick play of this. So I'm going to show you two of my streams. So one's going to be from GT Sport, the other one's going to be from GT7. So this one's obviously from GT Sport from back in the day. So let's have a quick look at this. So I want you to keep an eye on the cars chat. Keep an eye on the lag of the cars and what they're doing as well. And there's me just sat there, uh, just waiting for the race to start. And away we go. Right. So all we're looking here, chat, all we're looking for here is the cars and how smooth they are. And we're going to do a comparison between this track and we're going to do one for GT7 uh, as well, chat. So you can see how smooth the cars are. It's very easy to race together. There's no lag. There's no cars going sideways. Um, they're not lagging. They're not disconnecting. Nothing like that at all. So it all looks very, very, very smooth. Now, this isn't just a one-off race, obviously. Um, you could race for hours and hours on GT Sport, and you could have quality like this, where the cars are all smooth. You can see where they are. The hit detection was pretty good, too. And there's never any problem in trying to guess where a car is. So there we go. Right, that's a quick example. Oh, OK, yeah, we're going down the outside there. Nice little cheeky move by us. And he says it's at the inside, too. So you can see how smooth that is, boys. You can see all the cars are smooth there. Right, so let's check it out. So let's go on to our stream from uh, the other day. So same track, same cars, and now this is GT7. So you're going to see the complete difference when it comes to the online racing and the problems we have in lag. And they're still not addressed to this day, chat. And it's literally been almost 10 months now since this game came out and you're going to see how laggy the cars are you just seen there p1 lagged incredibly hard and it's still lagging right now so just have a look at the cars look how smooth they are it's it's like trying to race a series of moving pictures sometimes now this isn't just personal lag chat this is because of the netcode they're using between the ps4 and ps5 machines and 10 months into this game launch now it's disgraceful how GT7's uh, lobby mode is it, so poor performing. It's just so poor performing with the cars and everything else chat. So this isn't just one race. This is lobby mode for everybody. Now this is why they have dedicated servers for the Man U and the Nations. But they do not have dedicated servers for sport mode. So no matter what anyone tells you, that's not correct. Because they have to separate the consoles. If they had dedicated servers for daily races, they would have PS4 and PS5 drivers in together, but they don't. It's it's not possible. The lag is just too horrendous, chat. So yeah, okay. Let's go back to the GT Sport one. Let's have a looky looky, boys. So this is kind of the problem. When a game that was made for the PlayStation 4 that you could run with the PS5 or the PS4 on, um, it's so much smoother. You could race easier, and it turns a lot of people away from the game. So I think I'm going to tag uh, Gran Turismo in this, boys, because this video needs to be shared far and wide. Now, we need to get them to do something about this. If they can't work out the problem, they're going to have to get engineers that can in to do it for them, or they're going to have to separate the consoles for all, mo all modes, unless they have dedicated servers all the way through, because this game needs dedicated servers. Um, Otherwise, the race is terrible. Now, this is peer-to-peer, -peer, just like you just saw in the lobby mode of the last one, uh, last race um, in the other uh, game. So, what a complete difference, night and day, right, between lags. One's smooth and one's absolutely laggy chat. So, that needs to be addressed ASAP. It really, really does. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed the video today, please hit this thumbs-up button here. Actually, it's right here. Look, please hit the thumbs-up button. And here, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. We're at 1.39k. 
So if you want to come and join us, um, then feel free to do so. But please share the video. Please hit the like button. I really want this to get improved for everybody. It's just, it's not acceptable at this point where we're still getting laggy cars everywhere. It's, it's not anything that we're doing as the gamers. It's what they're doing, chat. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. It's my girlfriend's birthday today, chat. So I'm not going to be live until tomorrow. So I'll see you then, everybody. So this is TJ signing off for now. So remember, guys, you can looky, looky. No touchy-touchy. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. Bye for now.